Here are five reasons why Maximum Risk is the greatest movie of all time. Number five, Van Damme. Maximum Risk has Van Damme like you've never seen him before. He spends the entire movie riding around on this sweet scooter. At least he would have if he didn't die within the first five minutes. But don't worry, this is one of those two Van Damme movies, so we still get to see those awesome Van Damme kicks. And boy are there a lot of kicks. <laughs> F your pizza. But this isn't the same old Van Damme. No, this Van Damme likes playing with fire, literally. Buildings are on fire, cars are on fire, everything's on fire. He throws so many random people into fires for no reason at all. That is so badass. Okay, now he's got a fire extinguisher, so I guess he's going to put the fire out. Nope, he's using it as a weapon, dipshit. <laughs> yeah. There's also a very deep scene where he's beating a man to death with a mirror for reasons that aren't clear, and he has what's both a subtle and blatant moment of self-reflection. That's right, JCVD, you still got it. Number four, the plot. The plot in Maximum Risk is so badass. Van Damme discovers he had a brother he never knew, but not until he's already dead. Unfortunately for Van Damme, his brother was involved with the Russian Mafia and the FBI, who all want him dead. We were a family. You betrayed us. <laughs> Unfortunately for the Russian Mafia and the FBI, he's f***ing Van Damme, so he kills all of them instead. <laughs> he also gets with his dead brother's hot girlfriend. Nice. Number three, the big Russian. Everybody knows the best Russians are big, mean, and blonde. If he dies, he dies. This man is so intimidating, they were too scared to even give him a name. He's literally just listed as Red Face in the credits. Anyways, he shows up and attacks Van Damme completely out of nowhere seven or eight times and it's scary as shit every single time. Everybody's just trying to have a good time relaxing in the sauna, but Red Face don't give a <laughs> Van Damme's finally able to put him down <laughs> by stabbing him repeatedly like a goddamn savage. You died the way you lived, sir. Number two, the dancing. Most people don't realize this, but the dancing scene in Maximum Risk accounts for over 95 of its 111 minute runtime. But if you ask me, it wasn't enough. Before we get to number one, here are some honorable mentions. We should really give a shout out to whatever brand of towels these are that are somehow able to stay on perfectly, even though they're having a brutal fight to the death. Ah! 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 
this very annoying taxi driver. You know, that's what it is. You know, it's all about looking around, observing stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know, looking at stuff. Like, pick you, for instance, you know? You know, you know like, uh, that accent of yours. What's that? That's, uh, uh, don't that actually makes Van Dam break character and tell him to shut the f up. Be doing in a sandstorm. Stop I, mean, I guess they get lost. The Please sand stop ducking. Hello. Now. Stop ducking. And finally, her. She just found out her lover was dead, and the very next day, she falls in love with his brother that she just met. We're supposed to believe a guy would be okay with that just because she looks like Natasha Henstridge. Yeah, that actually checks out. And the number one reason why Maximum Risk is the greatest movie of all time is the chainsaw fight. The climax of this movie has this little man chasing Van Damme around with the chainsaw in a meat factory. Yes, this scene is as awesome as it sounds. It also ends the most badass way possible, with Van Damme doing circus tricks, and the bad guy dramatically cutting a large slab of meat as he dies. This wasn't a movie, this was art. If you don't agree that Maximum Risk is the greatest movie of all time, then ah! you're out of here!